My recent deployment, I was uh, a jet airman, joint expeditionary task airman, and uh, working for the Provost Marshal Office, basically an MP for the United States Army, um, 101st Airborne Division and the 1st Brigade uh, combat teams out in Fab Fenty, a forward operating base in Jalalabad, Afghanistan. Well, we, we had a major complex attack and we got a call at 0500 hours that um, one of our towers was taking pop shots. We went directly to the threat because we were acting as base defense that day. We went to the threat. There was 20 enemy forces. They had uh, suicide vests, RPGs, AK-47s, a bag of hand grenades, um, combat ladders so they can come over the fence. So we started out with uh, pop shots back and forth and then full force on um, enemy contact and it was a firefight that turned into close quarters combat. We were firing back and forth and there was a ravine about 20 meters directly in front of us which they shot an RPG from, hit us directly with an RPG and then started bounding up and throwing hand grenades over. So the first hand grenade came over, none of us seen it on the line. There was eight of us up there, three Air Force guys. The first grenade nobody seen and it landed about five to six meters behind us and blew up, blowing all of us into the wall. We engaged again, nobody was hurt. We took another RPG to the face and then the second hand grenade came over the wall and my staff sergeant yelled out grenade. It was probably the longest three seconds of my life. Um, and I know people say, don't be a looker. And at that time, you know, everybody just stopped and looked. And the grenade landed a little bit closer this time. Um, we all went, got down, it blew. And there was about five out of the nine of the guys that were hit. At that time, um, there, was, there was two insurgents below us, directly below us, about five feet away and they had the combat ladders and the bag full of grenades and they were trying to come up to blow the uh, farp, farp up and the only thing I can think about was um, we couldn't reach them so some of us had to get over the wall and take these guys out but we were still getting hit with the, um, the PKMs from the tree line so they were still laying down suppressive fire to keep us down so these guys can come over. I told uh, two, two of the army soldiers to my right to lay down suppressive fire on the PKM so we can get over the wall and take these guys out. And that's exactly what myself and Sergeant Amadola to the left of me, who was already injured, did um, when the Army soldiers laid down suppressive fire on the PKMs. We had some other guys hold our feet. We went over the wall, um, dropped down, and took out the two insurgents below. After that, there was still some people in the ditch and what ended the um, firefight that day was, it, w it was epic. There was two Apaches that came over and they did cast gun runs, the close air support gun runs, and uh, within 10 meters of our position. And that ended the firefight. Security Forces does a great job with training personnel for what they do on their missions. You know, fight like you train and, and train like you fight. So people go down and they train and you can train and train and train, and something that's muscle memory, it will, it will come out in, um, in firefights or different combat aspects.